recording us. Welcome everybody to the Visionary Summit or the Secure Chain Clan. We're going to be going over the session I stuff today. All right, here are our submissions. Um, I We have two, one, two, three, four, five, which is perfect. I think we should accept them all. I think there's about how many we need. Let's look at the, the calendar and see exactly what we um, we need. Oops, okay. Uh, let's go over to the blogs. All right, according to SIME Sim schedule, right now, our agenda is, we have, this one should be probably, this is our keynote. This is uh, Caroline Wong. I'm guessing we should do uh, 20 to 30 minutes here. I have it for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, following uh, Sasha, uh, that is his panel discussion. If we're going to if we're going to go ahead and pursue that, and then we have some games, and then we have um, not too many lightning talks. We have uh, forty five minutes for lightning talks, which we really need four. Um, I would say would be the most four lightning talks. We have in our we have one we have one two three four five people who have. Um, submitted talks. I think that we could go ahead and do all five or we could choose three and ask two of them to be on a panel. Um, three of them are under complete. Uh, I think you're scrolling through it kind of speedily there. Did it stop? Yes. No, yeah, I so this one repeatable. So this one that says Sophie test and everything underneath are, I've organized, those are all those weird ones that were tests. And I went ahead and declined those, but they're still showing up as submitted sessions. Okay. So these are the, I, I can't tell where your screen is, but everything above uh, Sophia's sessions are the, the five I'm talking about. Okay. So let's just take a look at what their topics are. Let's I, look at I would think before we get the topics, go with three and ask the other two to join the panel in order to give sufficient um, time for the talks. Because the 10 minute talk doesn't really take 10 minutes. You have to allow for moving between talks at a minimum. Yeah, I try to give it really 15, 10, 10 minute talk with five minutes padding. Um, right. And we can always go over. It doesn't matter if we go over. These are recorded anyway, um, so that's okay. Uh, but I'm I'm kind of in agreement with you. If we have three good talks and then um, I do a recorded panel uh, with some of these folks. Well, we can move the panel from 45 minutes to 30 minutes. Yes, we can do that as well. If we need room. So this one is on in toto, um, which I think is a, an interesting topic. Um, for those of you who don't understand, who may not know what in toto is, it's almost a, it's a way to track your pipeline changes. And let's go look. Yeah, I think that's a good one. In toto is all about uh, attestations. Here it is in Toto. I think this is a really good talk. Um, let's see who's submitting it. Let's see if he has a link to his. He is working for. Testify Sec, he's director of open source. So I think this is probably a, 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 a good one of our, a good talk. Now we could have him as a panel discussion as well. So let's just keep that in mind, but I think it would be a good talk. All right, 
The next one is Luigi. Now, Luigi is, uh, he is the chair of the metrics and metadata group. And he'll want to talk about his, his security insights. Uh, again, a good talk. This is something that, you know, we may want to consume some of the data that uh, he's asking people to include in this um, YAML file that he's suggesting. He would also be a good panelist. So there's a second one in governance. Uh, the third one in governance is Robert Martin. What does a secure software supply chain look like? Now, I like these kinds of talks because they're not trying to show or sell something. The other one in TOTA, one's in TOTA, one's security insights. And this one's more of just of a, a general educational topic. It says, thinking of the delivery of software as supply chain helps understand where the risk from disruption and quality escapes uh, or what is possible to give assurance to downstream users that these risks have been addressed. I'm sure that he would be an excellent panelist as well. Um, the thing about the with these that are um, less specific to a particular tool, we'll get it, potentially we get fewer views on it because people who are interested in, in Toto or maybe interested in the security intelligence um, will get more viewership. It'll get shared more because they're interested in those projects. So I must say that we ask um, this person, Robert Martin, uh, to be a panelist. And he's, he's interesting because he's a he's at MITRE. So he's going to have all kinds of different uh, things to say, I'm sure. I almost wonder with him being at MITRE, do we want to give him more time? But uh, it may be, it may be sufficient to um, have him on a panel because it'd be good to have MITRE get more interested in Ortelius. Exactly. So if we're doing a panel and we we keep the panel at, I think we have it at 40 minutes, um, it would be a really great way to show, to have a discussion with him about what MITRE's doing. And we can, we can certainly uh, go, uh, you know, ask questions in the area that he's shown some interest. Okay. And... Then we have Neil, Google Cloud Software Supply Chain Security. This, this one talks uh, walks through Google's Cloud's uh, approach to software supply chain security. I would be interested in what they're doing. Um, presents essential tools like artifact analysis, binary authorization, and assured open source software, which I know nothing about any of those. He is currently a um, let's see where he works. He's working at Google. He is? Yeah. Oh, I see right there. So this one I would give a, a big thumbs up to. Okay. Um, and then the last one to look at uh, you clicked on a name instead of there. Oh, sorry. So if you click on there, yeah. DevSecOps for network operations. Demonstrate software and configuration compliance use cases through CI/CD pipelines on network devices. With Jenkins. With Jenkins. Going to do some some with Sonar Cube, Ansible, Nexus. It's a very technical, but it's probably a very good talk to have. I feel like he needs more than 10 minutes. About With a talk like that, with that many things to talk about is 20 minutes? Exactly. You know, fitting that in, uh, 
my experience with even a one hour talk is you almost never can get terribly technical because you can't assume everybody listening to the talk has the background to get there without the intro. So, so um, why don't, why don't we think about it this way then? I, I agree. I, I think this is too, I think we should, I think this is a really good talk to have. I just think it's too much for 10 minutes. Let me go back. Well, why not do a, here, you can do a 10 minute talk, but you need to do a blog for us too. Talk as much as you want in a blog. Do the 10 minutes to tell us about your blog and intro the topic. We could do as well. We could go ahead and give him 20 minutes and I'll ask him that 10 minutes plus a blog, but we could give him 20 minutes. We could invite Luigi and Robert to be on the panel because we should at least have two. And I think those are, or Robert and uh, Neil. They're all good talks, to be honest. I think in Toto is something we all should learn about. And I think that the 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 uh, the Google wasn't this the one? Yeah, I think the Google tools would be really important for us to learn. So I think we this should be a ten minute talk. This should be a ten minute talk because these are more inter introductory. So that gives us twenty minutes. We should ask these two to be on a panel with us, and we had we should give this person twenty minutes. So that gives us forty minutes of talks plus some time in between. So let's just say an hour instead of uh, 45 minutes, which isn't terrible. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we can do all five with two minutes break because it's 10 minutes break. So I don't think like the audience needs much bigger breaks. Sasha, what are your thoughts? Since you're running the panel, were these two good candidates for you on the panel? I don't know. I've never run a panel, but it'll be my first time. So it should be interesting. <laughs> well, I can tell you Luigi likes to talk, so he will not be quiet. And I have a suspicion that Robert Martin probably is going to be a good talker as well. Um, I'm really not fussy, eh? Um, yeah. We'll have, to come like up with some, talks. we'll have to come up with some questions. If I can't, I'll just have AI open on the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't so worry. It, if there's somebody who likes to talk, you just need one question and then it just spins off from there, right? Yeah. So one it's or two questions. three and we have these two as a panel. I think I think that would be a good way to go. I wish Simon was on. Yeah. Elizabeth, yeah, do you have any thoughts? One. I agree with the panel, like Luigi will be great for that. We just need to line up the questions and Robert has contributed to RSA, RCSA yeah. uh, for the security talk. So that will be interesting. Just the network um, seems a little bit technical. So a blog will be ideal for that. I think so too. Yeah. It's great talk speakers, huh? Very interesting. It's so yeah, like, this... uh, they they have a lot of to say. I mean, just to see what it, the the description of the talks and mm. his roles. I think they have, they have a lot to a lot to say. So it's going to be really challenging to point out questions because probably they, we are not going to have like enough time to everyone to ask everything. So I think the challenge is speak the right question for the right people but uh in the base uh, i feel they are amazing like as as potential mm -hmm. panelists they look amazing and we yeah. can ask them to give us the questions they'd like to to talk about well the yeah, interesting part <laughs> well yeah and because the panel is going to be pre-recorded um it makes it pretty easy to to you know work with the um the interesting thing would be on the panel discussion to try to bridge the gap between what 
Martin's background is with the miter and all that information with what uh, Luigi has focused on from the Git repo side. Yeah, so maybe we can shift the discussion. I think right now it is... Well, look at the t topic we already added, suggested, actionable metrics and metadata. We couldn't find two better people to talk about that. Yeah. So that, that would be the, that would kind of be the bridge, you know, what, what is the metadata that you're able to, to grab? And then how can you make it actionable? So I think Luigi would be able to answer the first question and Martin may be able to help us with the second one. I think he'll help us really expose some data, some uh, some of the metrics that they're starting to watch. Okay, so let's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and accept John. Is that okay? Everybody, thumbs up on that. Yep. Let's go. And I'm going to accept Nail. Yep. Yep. And we're going to accept Akash. Oh, uh, I did that wrong. Thank God. Oh, you did it right. Oh, that was right. Okay, there, there. And I will reach out to these two. Um, I wonder if I can. I, they got to have their email in here. There are their emails in there. I have Luigi somewhere. Okay, I'll reach out to these two and uh, I tell them that we would since we had that panel discussion we'd like to bring the two of them together to be our our two panelists all right well that was easy right good job you guys <laughs> so easy and um i know we did it in 20 minutes but that's all we really needed to get done today. So I give you all your, give you 10 minutes back to your day. Cool. Well, Sasha, is it starting to get cold where you are? Sadly, yes. I'm coming to <laughs> North America. <laughs> <laughs> anytime, you're, anytime, you're just welcome just to come to Santa Fe anytime you want. Yeah. Oh, and then you can be snowed Fe. on 11 months of the year. Oh my really? God, I can't believe it snowed today. It's so weird. I always have this perception that you guys live in like semi desert. Yeah. It's high yeah. desert. Yeah. High desert. I want to see a rattlesnake. That would be amazing. Yeah, they're uh, around. We get, we get <laughs> three or four of them here. Yes. <laughs> Steve's <laughs> quite good at wrangling rattlesnakes. All right, I'm going to sign off here. <laughs> Ether. Hey.